this is day two on this fencing job. That's yesterday's work. Those things are 5.4 meters long. And the 9B3s, I think. So they've got to be like sleepers. So we're going to have a little bit of a sleeper fence at the front. And then from here, it's going to slope back to here. So a six foot four fence. We're going to have a gravel board at the bottom. And the normal feather edge stuff at the top. So while this is going, we've got to cut out into the pattern concrete where the posts are going, but we're going to just put gravel back. I'm not going to try and patch that up. The other side of this is a retaining wall. So it's going to be a bit of an awkward dig, but and our job's always awkward. There's all our gear, there's all the boards, all the rails, all the posts. These last three are 10 foot posts because the ground drops away here. <clears throat> you can see under there. So this morning we've got to cut this hedge back and try and get down there. In there. And take that post out. Get all the concrete base out and get a new post in there. And then probably the next one's probably about there. So that's 1.8, so it's about there, 2.4. So these ones are going to be awkward to do, but... Standard, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's four degrees, so it's chilly at the moment. So, let's start by getting a few of these panels out. Nine o'clock. This is going to be a tough one. This there's a good there's a good reason why you don't use a concrete post. And the bit you didn't see, this whole top half just fell oh. off. It wasn't a it wasn't cut or anything. It just came off. Concrete cancer, they call it. With the reinforcing just rust inside. <laughs> and once that's gone, post is useless. Anyway, that's enough, that's enough of that. Right, we're down here. Took our gravel boards out. Now we've got to try and get that out. And dig a two foot hole there. So, um, that's the challenge. Not relishing it. But we've started, so yeah. we'll finish.
one down, six to go. God, that was hard work. <laughs> You've got a big root there. You've got this tree in the way. Sorry, that tree in the way. You've got the concrete from the post, you've got the post, you've got next door's post concrete. And you've got no room to work. <laughs> so that one's in. That is our level line for that concrete floor. <coughs> so that's the top of our gravel board. So we're going to put extra gravel boards in here. And the fence is going to go up there, up into the trees. It's going to be slightly higher than the last one, so a bit of pruning to do as well. So, got to go for a break now, knackered. That was an absolute killer. Here's Alex with our first post. Ten foot. <laughs> right. That's be how everybody sees me. I'm just grab the uh, most important thing. Yeah, I'm just grabbing your most important thing. Imagine putting a 10 foot concrete post in. I wouldn't like to. Yeah. It sits nice. Good. Uh, stick it in here, mate. I don't want it just yet. No. Oh. Let's get this, let's get this concrete in and then we'll have a drink. Can you edit out the coffee bit? Yeah. I'll just put it right back where it was. What do you want? I'm going to have trouble nailing them up there. We might have to cut those two branches off. Maybe, uh, what are you after? Spirit level, please, mate. We haven't got the two full separately. So we'll do it for now. <sighs> Ready to go, that? Yeah? Uh, do you want to take this then while I get the water in? Yep. Thank you. This sodding tree. Currently going underneath my arm. Yeah, yeah it's going to take three that, isn't it? It's a big old hole. Yeah, and like you say, it would have been a ten foot more than area. I don't know, we're going to nail them. Right, you got hold of it. Yep. Yeah. It's there. Where? Yeah. Oh, I see it. Yeah, as you can see, it's a bit cramped here. <sighs> yeah, looking good. Right. Yeah, so it's coming out of it. Need to get some behind it if you can. Yeah. Put half in, then give it a good prod again. It's not getting dry looks in it. Yeah, that's okay. Yep, looking good.
Go on, what time is it? I think Ken said it was like 20, 10 past 11. 10 past 11. 10 past 11. We've got one post in. Hey, it's more than we did yesterday. Well, that's true, yeah. One post in. Look at that. You never, you never, never believe the ass of that, that took. So, if I can get this bloody camera to work, we'll stick it on time lapse now and get the next one set out and dug. We need a line set up first, don't we? Yeah. Right. They were very difficult digs then. Trying to keep the uh, the hole as small as possible for the pattern concrete. That one had a flag in it on an angle, so I couldn't get at that. That was probably the straightforward one. These two were a nightmare. That was hard. But that one, that one had still. That's that's where the post was. So basically, we had to take the post out and the concrete base. That probably took two and a half hours. Absolute nightmare, but that's it. The fence stops there, it drops down to two footer there. So we've put the rails tight at the top, and we're going to put the, the boards to the top, and we've got the capping to go on top. That's just a couple of boards. We've got a gravel board underneath which follows down, and then it drops down because the next door side is a lot lower. So that, that's them, got these in, put them in yesterday, just give the uh, boards a bit of extra strength. I'm currently struggling in this corner, bloody trees again. Uh, we're just getting to the end now, where we can get a nail gun in. But it's been a... Uh, not much room in there. Let's go up my side. This is a 10 foot post, which is probably 8 foot out of the ground there. 
and then that's a 10 foot post and that's a 10 foot post we cut that one down didn't we uh, yeah we need a three and a half foot hole it's still two feet two feet deep so oh, this is how tight we are to the conifers I tried okay As you can see, because it's a 10 foot post, it's got a bit of flex in it. So, it's not going to go anywhere, it's just flex it because it's wood. So, we're going to plant a piece of timber on there on, and fix it to the post. And then just tack it back to here, just to take the, take the flex out of it in the wind. Protect it. That was a difficult one as well, because that was where the post was. So that post had to come out. And the concrete. But that was, that was, that was easy compared to those ones. So, we're nearly there. Are you measuring them out, yeah? Yep. Top, put it at the top. Oh. Go on your old and move it. That's it, now push, right. it, push it up so it's tight to that. Yep. There you go. That's ready to go. Put it. That's it. Should I get my finger out of the way? <laughs> That's it. As I say, we're putting this rail on. It doesn't cover the. It's not wide enough to cover the four by two as well, but it's just covering the top. Of the feather edge boards. Just to make it all nice and tidy. Is that it? Now we. Uh, Tree free. I think we're tree free. Right, through time then, isn't it? Yep. Think we've earned it. Yes. <laughs> so that's us for the day. Once Alex is set up, I'm going to go and get some long screws for the slip. Well, they're not sleepers. <laughs> they're 9B3s, which we're putting at the front. flexible as it used to be. <coughs> right, we're on the phone today because the Google is playing up. So, uh, there's a really hard post. We didn't record them because I'm such a bad day on it. Took us half a day to get those two in. So we're actually on day four, it's been a tough job. So we got all the posting yesterday. Nice gravel boards for the drop. Always the end there. Got them supported by them. So Alex is just struggling. Oh, they both are in there. Can't really film because they're both working on it. But once we pass that tree, it's nailed guns ahoy. But at the moment, it's uh, it's not fun. Right. Ow. We're out the trees, so back on the nail guns now. Start making a bit of a progress. Do a live action for now instead of time lapse. Right, pal. Now. Pardon? Are we on guns now? I'd say so. Mm. Let's check that. Let's see, let's see, let's see, in case it's twisted. Right, let's get some more boards. I'll get the gloves on.
just a quick one. Instead of messing around with lines and stuff, we put we put the uh, the capping on first. Obviously, you just put the boards up to the capping. So that's, that's a lot quicker and a lot more accurate than using the line because you can knock the line. And then um, first one in, plumb it up, and then nail away. I'm going shopping in a minute for some bolts for the front, so I'm just getting this up. And the uh, battery charger too, don't want to come back. Yeah. Could do with the uh, template as well. Oh yeah, cut that for you now. Take measure, measure 100 mil for me. Take there out. I didn't take. Yeah, hundred mil piece. So that's the board, and then you've got twenty five mil overlap, overlap. Then, so we just push that on each time. Mark it up. Nail it. Smart that top, doesn't it? I'm just going to film loads of it and I can cut it down then rather than have enough footage. Yeah. Use that hammer.
down to train it, then that looks like that. Right. There we go, quarter to seven. 
this outro is on my phone because the GoPro is playing up my that's as if we make it into a video. Here we go. There's the gravel board. Here's the three ten foot posts. This is all I was doing. We needed all the boarding today. Been a champ. And then we get to the gate. And we drop down to three. 900, yeah, 900 fence. And then it changes to these sleepers. Well, not sleepers, but they're bloody. They were 5.4 meters then. Nice full skip. That's how to fill a skip. This is the other side. As you can see, we've got a retainer there, so we're a bit lower. That's all I hold back. There's the gravel boards we had to cut down. But we've left them in, obviously because they're retaining the concrete. Didn't want to disturb them. And there's the gravel boards at the back. Four days hard graft that. People say it might take you four days. That's why. Them bloody holes. So anyway. Poor Alex has been struggling with his ankle again. Keeps twisting it because because the ground is slipping and sliding. There we go. Over and out. Yeah. Oh, I'm alright, thanks. No, listen, try it on. Yeah, I, can't, on. I don't want to put more weight on this foot. There's no weight in it. There is one and there's a nail gun on it's it. There's three nails. No, it's just three nails. The nails I, are there. I've popped them there. Yeah, but it's also, you can also keep your thing in there as well. I don't want to build for it. Your gauge. What gauge? That. You just pop it in your pocket. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a uh, wake up call. No, you're not kidding. Whoa! Oh, this my day. This guy was huge. <laughs> Get off! <laughs> Get off! Seven percent. Surprised it didn't switch on. Around. No, it's trying to switch it off. It's never made that noise before, has it? No. Now it's playing this game. It doesn't actually switch off. Good luck if we get a video out of this. I didn't even hear it go off. Probably one we were over there. It's still filming. You just click film.